So back to our research question. So we wanted to know whether or not PDE5 inhibitors cause malignant melanoma. So we had 145,000 men taking a PDE5 inhibitor and 560,000 without. Now, we need to think about, so we want to know what's the causal association between these two. But the trouble is, we have to think about other things that may confound the association or may also explain any association between PDE5 inhibitors and melanoma. So as, a research, you know, as researchers, we thought men that take PDE5 inhibitors will be different from men that don't take them. It could be that they smoke more, it could be that they drink more alcohol, or it could be that they have a higher body mass index. So lucky for us, we've at least got some information on these factors that we could include to adjust for. But any thoughts on what else might differ between men that take PDE5 inhibitors and men that don't, and which is highly relevant for whether they get skin cancer? What might explain that association? What, what causes skin cancer? Sunlight. Yeah, sunlight. sunlight. So, is it possible that men that take PDE5 inhibitors are more exposed to sunlight than men that don't? That's possible. We can't measure it. It's not in the GP database. So we don't, we don't know about that. So we can't adjust for it. Now, I don't know whether on your slides whether you can see this better. These are the results from the study. And so what we found was that men taking PDE5 inhibitors, even after we adjusted for everything we had, had a 14% increased risk of having malignant melanoma compared with men who didn't take PDE5 inhibitors. Okay. Now, we weren't certain that this was causal. And so because we were worried that sunlight exposure may differ between the groups, we also looked at some other outcomes. So we looked at uh, basal cell carcinoma, which would be another marker of potentially more sunlight exposure, but would not be a marker of something that would be causally related to a PDE5 inhibitor. So the mechanism would not have affected both types of skin cancer. And so here you've got um, also an increased risk of basal cell carcinoma amongst men taking PDE5 inhibitors, a 15% increased risk. So we thought this was some indirect evidence that the association with malignant melanoma may not be causal. And then finally, we also looked at the association with solar keratosis. But we looked at this association before the men had ever taken a PDE5 inhibitor. So before they'd ever even had that exposure, they also have an increased risk of having previously developed solar keratosis, another skin disease that's linked to sunlight exposure. So we took this as being evidence that we ought not to interpret this increased risk as being causal, but that in fact there seemed to be good evidence that men that take PDE5 inhibitors actually are more exposed to sunlight and that this is probably the explanation for this association. Now originally this could have been presented as look people people taking Viagra are getting malignant melanoma. Viagra causes cancer but of course we want to be really careful that this isn't the sort of message that we're giving when in fact when we look more carefully within our data it's telling us what this association may be due to. Okay so that was an example of Electronic health records being very useful to investigate a, a safety signal.